welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review of my experience at Maria Tash. So if you saw in my recent NYC vlog, I visited Maria Tash and I want to share with you guys my entire experience. So let's get into the video. I feel like Maria Tash has been kind of the it place for jewelry when it comes to uh, piercings, uh, specialized kind of pieces, as well as earring stacks. I have browsed in Maria Tash before. I have browsed on their site and I have been into their location in New York City. It's on Broadway. I've never had a piercing by Maria Tash and I will say I was initially kind of shied away from the brand based off of the pricing. I felt like the pricing was excessive, like just overpriced for um, the size of the jewelry pieces, right? Because a small amount of um, materials being used in these pieces so I always felt like the pricing kind of turned me off initially pieces are undeniably beautiful and I was still drawn to Maria Tash I wanted to go to Maria Tash and I scheduled a styling appointment so a styling appointment is when you meet with um, like basically an expert on their jewelry as well as pierce a piercer and you kind of talk about what you're looking for what I knew I wanted was to get my to get a new install on my tragus so you guys know i have a tragus piercing i've had that piercing for years i never was like excited about the jewelry i had in my tragus um for for a while i just had the jewelry i was pierced with and then eventually that fell out and i just went to a local shop and got some other like random jewelry installed it was never yeah anything I really was in love with I was considering to get the I think it's the solitaire diamond with the invisible setting I think that's what it's called I will put information below to the specifics I talk about and I'll insert pictures and all um, this is just a video with me sharing my thoughts my experience and pricing with you guys kind of answering general questions but I'll insert pictures of everything I did get when I originally went for the appointment I was just doing the styling and I knew I was interested in getting something with diamond, something very subtle. As soon as I talked to the stylist, the person I had the appointment with, they immediately narrowed down like a few pieces without me really going into much detail. I said what I was interested in and they were like, here you go. It was super cool. So she showed me two um, diamond sizes. She also showed me the Paisley uh, diamond earring. Um, which was actually what I ended up going with. So the Tragus install was $15 and the install is simply switching out the jewelry for me, which I thought was nice. Honestly, with nails and all, it's really difficult to uh, switch out the Tragus um, for me personally. So I was fine to have them install it. That was a $15 fee. And I ended up getting the Diamond, Diamond Paisley left for the left ear which is a stud earring it's 14 karat white gold and again it has a tiny diamond in the paisley design then i got um a piercing i actually on my left ear i just have um two piercings on my lobe i just knew i wanted to add something to my earlobe i was not interested in going up to the cartilage piercings or another tragus or anything like that i just wanted to add something to my earlobe so I actually stacked in between my two piercings. I got the Diamond Solitaire Star, which is super, super tiny, guys. I will insert the picture from when I originally initially got it done, but you guys have to look closely. Even if I zoom, it's teeny, it's tiny. It's something that you really can only see if you're up close. Um, and it's just like a hint of sparkle with the Diamond uh, Solitaire Star. The earlobe piercing uh, service was twenty dollars so I feel like that's pretty standard for piercing costs I had to pay for the install 15 and then the piercing 20 two things I want to share with you guys um I'll insert clips to when I was in the boutique the boutique is pretty cool my piercer's name is Stephanie she was very knowledgeable very friendly very gentle the piercing was super quick and easy obviously they're using a needle i really liked how they showed how everything was sterilized they were very particular about a lot which made me feel very comfortable getting pierced there as far as cleanliness 
goes obviously you want to make sure you're getting pierced somewhere they're professionals but also the cleanliness and everything sterilized properly we attach like marker pin to mark my earlobe placement of my piercing and this becomes your souvenir because they say they only use it one per client so once they use it to mark for someone they give that gift that to them so kind of like a little souvenir you walk away with yeah i love how smooth it's like a gel marker pin i love how smooth it writes so i will be using this so you get information about the jewelry you pick wearing guides um one thing she did suggest to me was not to move around my jewelry as it was healing the healing time for my the earlobe piercing I got was about two months. One thing she mentioned as a tip during the healing process was not to move around the jewelry. We don't want to obviously irritate it but she was saying you want to make sure the placement kind of it heals almost like in place because don't forget this is not a traditional earring. You're being pierced with your actual jewelry that you're going to wear there so you're going to wear in that piercing so it's a little different than i guess traditional piercings where you got pierced with jewelry that was separate from the jewelry you would wear later on once it healed uh the care instructions were pretty simple i um, just been using like the saline like wound wash to keep it clean morning and night and yeah i've had no issues it was like i said the piercing itself I took longer picking out my jewelry, waiting for them to prep for the piercing. And yeah, it was just simple, like quick and easy, um, not painful at all. It's an earlobe piercing, so it's not very painful. I don't know if I ever talked about my tragus piercing and the experience I had. If you guys are interested in more piercing talk, let me know. Um, I just wanted to kind of curate my own earring stack and I needed to put something else on this ear but I knew I did not want to add anything to my cartilage over there as I said so I thought this was like the perfect addition uh, so I will say overall service definitely five star as far as service the experience was great very easy like I said the piercer she was very knowledgeable super clean everything was super smooth very much a personalized experience which I do enjoy because I had the styling um, appointment first I was able to talk about what I was into what I was looking for um, and they did have other jewelry I did end up getting diamonds so that was part of the reason why my jewelry ended up being a little pricey but they did have jewelry that was you know less expensive is some jewelry that's priced um a lot less but there's also jewelry that's priced a lot higher so whatever floats your boat whatever you're into maria tash has something for you and i think their pieces are quite unique and like i said it's more like a specialty jewelry shop which is what's nice about maria tash the only a con would be the pricing but when it came to the pricing of the services i thought that was very fair um yeah so that was my experience at maria tash i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you have any other questions something i did not mention let me know in the comments section but that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe i talk about fashion lifestyle travel and sometimes beauty so if you're into that please subscribe and join my online community also, don't forget to hit that bell so you can turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload from me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section below. And until next time, guys.